Hello! How are all of you doing who happen to be watching this video? I'm sure a word in the title maybe got your attention. Hopefully. It's a bit of a controversial subject to speak about and probably will make some people uncomfortable, but it is something I thought, you know, I should talk about, especially after reading uh, some comments in a, um, a Facebook uh, group that I'm in. And it's really in regards to an anal sex and the post-op transgender women. Of course, this covers a little bit more than that. And I'll try to get through this really quick because I'm trying to make short videos, you know, for the attention span stuff. Okay, so anal sex. Now, why do we even have anal sex? Well, you know, to the core of it, um, for some it feels good. It's the anal, around the anus, it's all pleasure nerves. And that's Mother na Nature's way of ensuring that we go to the bathroom and that we don't hold it in and stuff. So it's a really a natural thing to ensure that we go to the bathroom, right? So it is all pleasure nerves and for some it can feel very, very good. Okay, um, also it is, you know, for uh, transgender women, especially for um, pre-op, uh, it is a way to really kind of feel like a woman, that the man is, you know, able to enter us and be inside us and kind of gives that feeling that, we, you know, we are a woman, and I can certainly understand that. Um, also, it's what men want, so many men, um, and, you know, Cis women as well have to face this, you know, being having this requested of us. Can I have anal sex with you, right? So it, it, there'd be no anal sex if there weren't men, you know, begging us to do this, right? And of course, some uh, pre-ops especially have anal sex for money, for the sex trade. And that's sort of a given, isn't it? Um, now, why? What are the dangers of it? Are there any dangers of having anal sex? Well, yes, there is. There's the obvious that you can catch diseases from it, you know, HPV, HIV, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm talking about unprotected, but, you know, even protected condoms do break sometimes. Uh, also, uh, it is for your partner, it could be uh, bad for him because it is full of bacteria down there. Lots of bacteria. And it, it's kind of filthy, really, no matter how much you want to clean it out and flush it out and stuff. You know, sorry, it's not so gross. Um, and, you know, that part of our bodies, you can get some injury down there as well, some ripping, tearing. It, inside that anus, it's such a very delicate skin down there. It's a membrane. It's not skin with the epidermis and a thickness to it. So it's very, very delicate tissue you're, you're playing with, playing around with down there. And of course, the sphincter, which is, you know, the human body has about 50 sphincters. <laughs> Trying to say that word. Um, and yes, maybe with Kegel exercises, you can kind of keep it tight and keep it functioning properly. But in general, you run the risk of loosening up and having problems with your, your you know, not being able to go to the bathroom properly or holding it in and stuff like that. And let's be frank. The, the anus has one purpose and one pur purpose only, and that is to extract waste from your body. And that's the only reason we have an anus. Of course, from the beginning of time, I understand men have wanted anal sex from the beginning of humanity, right? So I get that, right? Okay, um, also, this is very important for post-op transgender women, that the skin in between, inside, in between the anus and the vagina, it's actually, for some, can be very thin. And depending on your surgeon and what you have to work with, that area can be very thin. So constant pounding, especially from the anus where that skin is so delicate, you could wear it down, you can puncture a hole in it, you can injure yourself, and you can ugh, imagine the horror of feces coming out of your vagina. So I'm sorry if it sounds gross, but it is a certain possibility and it has happened. So these are these things, you know, in regards, this is your health you're talking about in your body. You know, how, how to, you know, avoid having sex anally, right? Well, if you want to, of course. You know, one of the things, I mean, I'm approached to have anal sex, of course, like every other woman on this planet. Um, and I have not had anal sex in way over a decade. And one of the things I tell a man who requests it for me is, you know what, I have, you know, a 30 grand 
piece of equipment created just for the pleasure of your penis. Because really, that is the only purpose for our vagina, is to have sex. If there was no purpose to it, if you weren't going to have sex, then you know what? They could have easily created a faux vagina with a urethra to urinate, and you wouldn't need to worry about any kind of pen penetration. But for us straight women who love men, we have the vagina so we can offer that to our men to have sex with us. And with the surgeries nowadays, it's an extremely pleasurable feeling for us. We orgasm, it's full of nerves, nothing's dead down there. So it can be an extremely pleasurable thing and probably more than the anus when you think about it, right? Um, you have to have the guts to tell a man, no, thank you. If, if this is what you want and you feel like you're being pressured into it, and, and I understand these, these are just words, and I understand that relationships are very complicated, and I understand the need uh, to want that man to keep coming back and to desire you and to want you. And I, I get that, ladies. I get it. And I understand, you know, if we don't give this to them, they may not come back. But these are one of these things that you have to make a choice. If you've decided, you know what, I don't want to have anal sex anymore, uh, you know, especially post-op women, you know, you have to be able to tell them the same thing. Listen, you know what, I've had surgery, I no longer do it, but oh, I have a beautiful, beautiful, tight vagina just for your penis. You know what I mean? And, you know, again, these are just words, and I know <laughs> easier said than done. But it is an option for you, and that's why I'm making this video, because you need to hear these words that you do have a choice, and your choice can be, no, I don't want to have anal sex anymore. It's not for me. So that's basically the reason why I wanted to make this video, to point out a few things. We're talking about your health, um, and we're talking about the longevity of your body and stuff like that, right? So you can't have too much sex with your post-op vagina. Really, it's made to endure. A good surgeon made your vagina to actually have sex. Not, it's not just for your looks, not just a show home sort of thing, right? It's actually to use. And you, of course, it takes time to learn how to really feel pleasured by it. Your, your vagina does adapt to penis sizes, yes, some may have some depth problem and stuff, but even that, you, you eventually can really adapt to a certain penis sizes, right? And, and I'm saying this from my personal experience. I'm not just making stuff up, you know. Um, mine can be very, very tight, and the, but then if I do engage in sex, and especially on a regular basis with the one person, it really adapts to his, you know, member and stuff. But I choose not to have anal sex, and again, this video was not meant for, for me to judge you and to tell you what to do in your bedroom. What you do with as two consenting adults in your bedroom is completely your business. And I am not at all telling you. I just feel after reading some of these things, especially for the younger women who have changed over, that you do have a choice and you can say no and have the guts to say no. You know what I mean? Because there's lots of men out there. Um... Again, I understand. I understand infatuation and, and, you know, you may love a man and you want to please him. And I get it. So hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully it opened your eyes to a few things. Um, if you have any comments, good or bad, leave them below. Um, and this is it. So hopefully it wasn't too uncomfortable. We will talk to you soon. Y'all take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.